We, society, mm -hmm. used to put the villains and the heroes, just two sides. Right. But we are darkness and we have lightness in exactly. ourselves. That's exactly. right. Can That's you tell right. me more about it? Yeah, well, it's also, you know, a question of like, okay, you're, you're doing good, but good for who? Right. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, the JS comes into Kondok and they think they're doing good, but the people of Kondok were like, where were you mm -hmm. for the last decade? You know, yeah. also you're you know. destroying our city, right? <laughs> and just, just as I know, we're here to do good, and it's like they're like, "What do you mean? You're destroying our city, like, in, and you're taking away the person that actually is helping to liberate us." So, mm -hmm. so that's that's a really great conversation and, and theme in our film too. Is what is good, what is evil? I mean, that's Black Adam's whole ethos. With your character as well. That is, I think uh, the, the the intention for Cyclone is to be a, 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 a bad girl, but at the end, it's another thing, right? I don't, you know, I think it's interesting. It's like every single character has that because that's why, like, when you make a, it's like, why does this happen right here in this moment with these people? And I think because we're all on the precipice of this change, of figuring out who we are amongst ourselves and in the greater like scope of the world. And for Cyclone too, it's like, I come in, I have like a very clear like I identity of like, you know, what a superhero is and how a superhero is supposed to look. I've made myself, you know, I've crafted a suit that resembles what I think a superhero would look like. And then it just shifts the entire movie and it, you know, correlates with your character too. It's mm -hmm. like this ebb and flow and are we doing the right thing? Well, this feels right, but this doesn't. And mm -hmm. these people seem affected. So, you know, who truly is in the right and who's in the wrong. You believe you are not worthy, but fate does not make mistakes. Yes, well, you know, it's like I've been saying, it's like we are, we are multidimensional people. You know, we're not all saints and we're not all sinners. And I feel like that gray space is where everybody sort of, you know, lives in. And I feel, you know, this movie does a great job in terms of blurring that line between, you know, hero and villain. And it really goes to show that, you know, both sides are right and both sides are wrong. And yeah. you just have to, I don't know, it's about redemption and fighting for your voice. Mm -hmm. and exploring all the space in between. And the consequences, right? And the consequences, and the consequences. yes. Uh, the, the things that the heroes do, some, sometimes they have a bad consequences as well. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, we have to own up to that. And when it comes to the human nature of things and dealing with the truth of consequences, and it's, it's, you know, sometimes not really about what is done. It's about how you work to correct what has been done, you know? Yeah. And that's a big learning lesson. It's a big, you know, and so there's sort of introspective look at oneself and figuring out what is right for you and how you can be best for the people around you and that's something i think that a lot of the characters explore in this film and that's one of the most human things that we all deal with on a regular basis 